through the proxy software. Once you open up the software, right here is going to let you know what's going on throughout the process. The first thing that we want to do is click this settings tab. From here, we can set the number of threads that we want to use and the timeouts that we want to use. You can select up to a hundred threads on each one. This is going to be extreme overkill for most people. You can set your timeout. You're seeing it right here. I've set this to four seconds, four seconds, and four seconds. Now, here's the thing. The higher you have your threads and the lower you have your timeout means you're going to get a lot less proxies. However, the proxies that you do get will likely be extremely fast because of the settings that you have here. To get the most proxies, you should set this thing quite low. Of course, this is also going to depend on your own internet connection and computer hardware as well as to how many threads that you can run. But if you set your threads pretty low and you set your timeouts anywhere from 8 to 15 seconds, then you're going to end up getting a lot more proxies. They're a little bit slower, but really for most applications, even though it looks like they're going through the proxies real fast and you think in your head, you're thinking, well, I need as, as fast proxies as I can get. Well, most of the time you actually don't just because of the, the built-in steps that's, that's in the software that you're using. After you set your settings, click on the home button to get back to this page and simply click your start process. Now it's going to collect your lists and this is going to go up to a hundred pages. Then it's just going to stop from a visual perspective for a little while and then it'll go ahead and move on. So don't panic or worry it's not broken when this just gets here and you don't see any activity. It's still working it's just doing so in the background. Once it finishes loading all of those proxies, now it's going to come through and it's going to start checking them. It found 13,000 proxies that claim to be elite proxies. And now it's systematically going through to check them. Now you'll notice a discrepancy here between what you have in either of these boxes. These that are not showing anywhere are absolute transparent proxies. In other words, they're absolute garbage. As it goes through checking, it's verifying for highly elite, highly secure proxies, and it's going to list those on this side. It's going to list anonymous proxies on this side. Personally, I do not use anonymous proxies, but there are valid and viable uses for them, so we've included those as well. Once this process finishes, it's going to give you an alert when you click the save button it's going to open up a prompt window for you to select what you want to name this file and where you want to save it and it is just going to be your elite proxies list however at the same time it's going to save a csv file on your desktop and within that csv file is the geolocation data for all of the proxies that you found now, as you can imagine, not all proxies provide data. Those are clearly marked. The rest will have the data, and in most cases, you're, you're going to get full data all the way down to just the country it's coming from. Enjoy the software.